What light? Beyond <laughs> the window breaks. It is the Juliet. It's east and she's the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon. That was Shakespeare. Shakespeare's <laughs> Romeo. And I am Eustace Tachonis. I have introduced you now a marriage problem. Bright was introduced with a new possible groom, and now she needs to make her decision. Does anyone from you ever encounter a problem by making this kind of decision? Please raise your hand, but don't be scared, I don't tell. <laughs> I think I saw one hand there. So, I'm going to explain how modern math is helping to solve this kind of problem. I'm going to use sequential decision model. This means that at a particular mo lifetime moment, Bright, at moment one, meets a potential groom, Romeo, and she needs to say to him yes or no. Really, no, is just, just hoping for something better to come. <laughs> and if she says no to him, then possibility for new groom, me, arise. From the other hand, Bright's problem is to reach one particular goal, to select the best groom, keeping in mind possible solutions and probabilities in the future. Maybe a second groom, another one, and so, so on. So, uh, uh, we would help a bride if we would introduce several criteria that she could judge better how good maybe the marriage with this particular groom can be. The criteria can be so various, maybe some uh, well things. Example, now we have this rich Romeo here, romantic one. A romanticism can be also a criteria. Example, also physical attraction. Uh, please imagine muscles here. <laughs> so, and then we can help a bride to make her decision at that particular lifetime moment by using sequential decision functions, because we can count out how good, how rich, wealthy, and physically attractive the next groom can be. So the bride doesn't need to risk anymore by letting such a good groom like me <laughs> go away. Because if, like in this competition, I would be before last one, the last one, no, Mahmoud, <laughs> nothing about you. The last one may be some silly one to come. And it can be something like, like this. So, future brides, please don't go to fortune tellers. They ain't gonna pr predict you this. Go to serious mathematicians like me, I, I mean like this, <laughs> and then we can count out love. I mean, <laughs> math for you and we're going to say for you the good choice. And by the way, the Romeo thing, he would look for math really so silly like me with this one, because to go as the first one, it's not good choice. There may be some better choices in the future. 